we're going to be taking a look at what's inside this box. It's the first ever microscope that Mobile Centrix is carrying. If you haven't already seen the preview for it, here it is. Open it up. I want to make sure your expectations are met and we're going to cover everything, how to assemble it, all of the functions, all of the features. So it's probably going to be a pretty lengthy video. It does come with a nice base. We've got the three holes back here, a USB-A to USB-C cable. And looks like this is going to be probably a cover for the microscope. For when you're not using it, this whole thing slides out. Maybe we can set the box off to the side. All right, let's cut open the tape for the styrofoam. And my first ever look at the microscope itself. Looks like everything's packaged nice and tight. All right, we've got something inside of here. We'll look at it in a second. Here, looks like we've got, this will elevate the height of the microscope. And here's the main body. Looks like you could add something, another camera on the top. And what's inside here? We've got some type of lens. I guess we'll figure out what that is in a second. Got some contact points on the back. And looks like a little bag of screws for that. Like a set of screwdrivers and some Allen wrenches. The eye pieces, maybe just two 10X, some padding for the eye pieces. It's probably gonna be the infrared camera. This looks like it goes on the top for a camera unit. And we've got the bolt and bracket for stand. All right, we just have to tighten down those three bolts. The stand has some rubber feet, so it's not gonna slide too easily, but not without you wanting it to slide. You can see how it sticks pretty well. We'll pull that off and we'll slide this guy over and we'll tighten it down, but it's not going anywhere. And the nice thing is as well as this swivels side to side. Unscrew the screw here and take the unit, slide it on down. You can tighten up a little bit on this guy. It doesn't go anywhere. And I didn't put this on, but you can adjust this anywhere to have kind of a stop so that this won't ever drop straight down to the bottom. This prevents that from happening. So you can install that if you want by simply lifting this up and sliding this down. All right, we'll slide out these covers. And slide in the eye pieces and let's install the rubber, the eye rests. I typically prefer ones that come out on the side, block some light. And on the top here, looks like you can probably pop that off and slide in this attachment that would allow us to attach a camera on top. Now, a couple of the major features are these two adapter pieces. This one's for a UV light and it allows you to set a crosshairs so that you can isolate the area you're working on and increase or decrease the area that the UV light cures. While this one is an infrared camera, which allows you to both use the microscope 
and the infrared at the exact same time. I'm super excited to use these. They simply screw in with two screws to the slot right here, just like that. Two screws go in and they're easily exchanged. All in all, really easy to set up. The clearance between the lens, it's a full open hand between the bottom and here to work with. That's a lot of space. That's key for, for doing repairs. So let's set this aside for one second and take a look at this box. In here, we've got something that's gonna take this to the next level, and that's this arm extension. Let's pull it out and take a look at it. Now, this sticker becomes really important, and a big decision has to be made because using something like this requires you to put permanent holes in the table that you're gonna be using. And you also wanna make sure that you get the measurement right for the distance that the arm can swing so that it lines up with where you want to sit. I'm gonna take a minute to figure that out and then we're gonna drill some holes. One of the coolest features as well is how these tubes are hollow and each one it allows for cords to be funneled through the hinges all the way up through and down through the table so they're not cluttering the desk. For example, you can see the cable down here comes up through there, through the pipe, up, down, and all the way down and it comes out from under the table. All right, I've got a computer hooked up to it real quick just to test it out. And if you look here, look at the clearance between here and here. Like I'm stretching my, my hand out. With this camera that I have on top, a whole nine inches up until the unit here, which gives me plenty of space to work down below. 
we will definitely be exploring in future videos the infrared camera, the UV light, of course. But overall, I'm super impressed. The setup was super simple and you may not find the need for the arm. So using the, the base right here, sufficient. The only downside to having a fixed base like this is when you're working on larger logic boards that might run into the base if you're trying to hit it at a specific angle. So having the swing arm helps in those scenarios. If there's something specific about this that I haven't explained just yet, leave it in the comments below and I'll see if I can address it in a future video because we're definitely going to be using this setup a lot. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.